Welcome to Getting to Know Your Tigers. We are here with Jeremiah Bailey, and uh, he'll be a junior this season in his second season with Pacific. Uh, you played in 31 games last season, and there were no better games than the one you had to end the season. It was uh, versus Pepperdine in the WCC tournament. It was uh, a 22.11 rebound performance. What did it mean to you to finish last season the way you did? Um, it meant a lot, you know, finish off strong just to go into this year a lot better. You know, even though we lost, it was something to take away to bring, you know, that edge coming towards this year now, you know, taking care of the business this season. Going into that, uh, or coming out of that performance, I guess, what, in looking back on it, what, what do you feel clicked for you that night in Vegas? One game, single elimination is, you know, win or go home. I think that was a big thing. Like, I wanted to win. I wanted to go on to the next stage, you know, the next game and continue going on, but didn't roll that way. Well, maybe this season it'll be a different script. You you came from Pima College. You spent one season at Pima College, JC. What was the transition like last year for you going from Pima to Pacific? Uh, it was actually a very big and different uh, transition. Even though at Pima, you know, we went to the national championship, it mm -hmm. still was a big step that I had to take as soon as I got here. You know, just a different work uh, workload. You know, got to work a lot harder than you expected. You know, you just got to continue to make that step going forward and everything you do just because it's at a higher level. Mm -hmm. What were some of the major differences, if you can identify a couple, that you that you realized when you went and made that jump? Uh, definitely the weight room's no joke, you know. D Division One earns its, uh, you know, its name. Mm -hmm. The conditioning low is a different, you know. You're doing a lot more running, a lot more, you know, things like that nature. So conditioning and weight room was, I think, the biggest things that took its toll. How did your game grow last season? Um, you know, especially working with like all the coaches, Coach Wiggs, Coach Perry, Coach Luster, Coach Stoudemire, always talking with them, you know, breaking down film. We got to break down a lot of things, how I could be more effective on the court. Mm -hmm. So, you know, seeing that, it was just able to open up a lot of things for, you know, myself, but also the team and being able to win more games. What were some of the things that I identified for you in order to be more effective on the court? Spacing, being able to put the ball down on the floor, being able to take my man off the dribble, but also being able to know if someone drives and kicks it to me, then I got to be able to hit the shot and kill the play. Uh, last year before Christmas, we, we finished up at Boise State, and everybody kind of went, went their separate ways. I think you had to travel the furthest to get <laughs> home for Christmas, Fairbanks, Alaska. Yep. Uh, what was it like growing up in Alaska? Oh, it was different. It's very different. You know, I feel like in Alaska, you know, it's a great community, though. You know, mm -hmm. everyone knows each other. It's small, but it's just we're kind of behind on a lot of things. You know, all the, the media and all that type of stuff were – couple months behind just because it's not really a very high cultural place out there so I was lucky enough to get to go to Alaska the Great Alaska <laughs> Shootout in 2000 I want to say 14 we played in the Great Alaska Shootout and it was different but it was also a unique place like you say um, basketball wise what's it like being up there trying to grow up and, and be a basketball player in Alaska um, you know it's a, it's a big thing because you got a lot of people trying to tear you down. They want, they want the, you know, they want the light. They want to be that person, mm -hmm. and no one's really uplifting each other. You know what I'm saying? So you really got to fight for what you need, what you want. Like going to D1, everyone says it, but you know, only a certain amount of people make it out. Like Mario Chalmers, Carlos Boozer, mm -hmm. Kyle Bailey. You know, there's just only a few people translating all the way to do. Like only a few people make it because they put in that work. They cut off that outside noise and they got it done. Before we let you go, give us your impressions of this year's team. Man, f first, you know, off the court, very funny. You know, everyone, everyone's their own character. But on the court, everyone is grimy and they want to win. So it's, it's good that everyone's on the same page. JB, thanks for stopping by, man. Of course. You're getting time. to know your Tigers, and that's Jeremiah Bailey.